Brian Powell of Run Far here with uh, Timothy Olson, 2012 Western States 100 champion and Western States course record holder. Thank you, sir. Man, <laughs> how does that feel? <clears throat> it, it feels really good. I'm still <laughs> uh, kind of in disbelief and letting it soak in. And it's, uh, yeah, um, really exciting and had a lot of fun out there. Yeah. Um, how would you say your balance of being, often you, you, you seem like a very chill guy. How much of a balance was it between being relaxed yesterday and being patient, and but you also were very focused. How did you manage that line? Yeah, I've been um I've been focused for this race for a while, um, which you know you get a little nervous when you focus on something that much. You're like, you me take. Yeah. <laughs> um, you get a little um, you know, just oh, did my thinking too much about this? Am I um, am I going to put too much effort into it, and then it's just going to go bad, and you'd be disappointed? But you know, I just. I just felt really, um, you know, grounded and just ready for the day to come, and and kind of take what it gave me. And, um, I guess I started off um, early on in the race and um, just kind of hanging, you know, top top five or so, and um, just re relax. I had kind of um, it was just so cold up top, so I, I think that kind of took a little bit out of us. I mean, it was, it was sleeting on us, and I just didn't expect it. I'm um, glad I had enough uh, clothes and some arm warmers to keep me. Uh, warm but um yeah i just I, I had like a little rough patch up there on top and i was a little nervous about um losing the the couple of front people they had you know maybe a um, minute or so i didn't know at the time so mm -hmm. and i i know dylan and mike wolf were were out there and um and so like i knew they were getting in the lead and i was like, a little nervous if i lost them but i you know just kind of kept really confident just stayed patient and I, I thought patience was a really good uh, you know thing to feel for a hundred mile race I mean it's yeah. like you you go out at mile 20 hard you're that's not gonna be good so I mean, you, do you think it was almost advantageous for you to, to for those early miles not to always be right with the leader because yeah. there's less pressure isn't it, it helped me run my own race mm -hmm. uh, which for 100 miles I think you need to not let you know the whole whole thing get in your your mind you really just need to relax and take care of yourself and that's what I was doing for the first half of the race was like just taking care of myself and and trying to listen to my body and see what I I needed yeah, yeah. so when did you go from being patient sitting back to they're sort of saying it's it's time yeah well um the you know the canyons I was uh, my my climbing legs were feeling really solid all day and that was just you know the time where I I felt like okay, I can push through this. I was gaining on people um, pretty pretty easily on that, and I wasn't putting a huge amount of effort. So I just felt like wow, okay, this is working well for me today. Um, so I just you know keep grinding up, let them get a little bit ahead on those downhills into mm -hmm. the canyons, and <clears throat> and then catch back up to them um, as we were hiking and and running up that. And um, I guess I kind of got the top of Michigan Bluff there and was just feeling good, and and that's kind of when I decided like let's. You know, start pushing it a little bit more. So you open up a little bit of lead at that point. Just yeah, just 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 yeah. barely. I passed them. You know, just at the top there, Michigan Bluff, and and um, you know they were they were going just um, they, they were still hiking, and I was running, and I'm like, this is a good moment to you know take off, uh, give a little space, and yeah, that's just where I, I felt really good then, and um, and then Ryan Sands caught me d <laughs> down the road after Forest Hill. Um, which he, he came past me uh, right before like uh, Dar Dar Daniels, so, yeah, um, Darnells, yeah. Darnells, yes, yeah, so, and um, yeah. and he cruised past me and, and put on a good gap and that um, you know I was a little nervous there. I'm like, wow, that was that was impressive. Um, how am I gonna stay you know go stay with him? And um, you know Hal would kind of push me along uh, at Pacer and um, you know just tell me to keep keep going, breathing and keep going and it just really. I, ca I saw him again, and like once I saw him, I knew I was doing good on the climb. So I was waiting for the climbs, and then I'd catch him up there, and and then just kept him in my sights, and and then I took off before the um, the river crossing, and you know I, I knew I had a little bit of gap there, and I'm just like this is everything I got right now, and so I just went hard from there on. This, did it feel like you were running the fastest ever Cal Street? At no, the time? I um, <laughs> well we were moving. I mean that was yeah it was. <laughs> I didn't think I could run that that hard. It, it, 100 miles are just it's such a crazy thing. You, you never think you can run that hard. Um, mile 70, 80, and for some some reason your body can respond. And yeah, you just you know just have those intentions and, and and you know just you know believe in yourself. And yeah, I mean you were running hard enough that 
you dropped a pacer at one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy of mine lost him for a little bit, but he, you know, he was, uh, you know, making sure I was okay, and uh, um, he he fell a couple of times, which you know, it's it was, it was rocking sections. It's not a you know terribly technical course, but you know some of those things catch your feet, and yeah, um, I'm glad he's okay. And then I, I picked up Hal at uh, 49 again. So he. How is it? How is it having Hal out there? Yeah. Oh, Two-time champion. Gosh. He's run the race a lot more you, than that. You can't ask for a better pacer than that. Um, you know, just just a good friend. So that's always that's. You know, just always encouraging just to have someone that's got your back that you've ran with before and, and then just someone who's such a phenomenal athlete and it knows this course front and back you know he's able to tell me you know this is a climb tim you know you can you can do this just push it up and get and crest it and keep going it's nice to have someone with that that knowledge and what was the what was the balance between you know guidance cracking the whip <laughs> and uh, and Goofy Hal that was like yeah. Highway 49 and how did you <laughs> <laughs> well it was a funny one moment when uh, you know me and Ryan were, were suffering there but um, Hal and the other pacer were you know they're good good buddies so they were they were joking around a lot and uh, um, it was it was nice kind of just not thinking about the race for a little while letting me and Ryan just do our thing and and um, and let them joke around so it's, he brings such a great balance of, of that all of, of, of humor of you know telling me when to go and and just reminding me to you know to breathe you need to goo you know it's just like so it's hey, hey, have you gooed it for a while and I'm like oh gosh yeah, you probably put some calories in my stomach mm -hmm. so you know crack one open so he's a multidisciplinary uh, yeah he's <laughs> yeah um yeah he did a phenomenal job i couldn't ask for a better answer. so you you're in the boat first you go across in a separate boat which was probably a surprise yeah yeah what, what do you what do you, what, what I, didn't know we, I didn't know we were having a boat. I thought I was going to have to pull my way across that. I'm like, oh, that, that'll be interesting. But, um, yeah, what, what service here at, at Western State? So they, <laughs> they boat us across, and uh, that was, I didn't see him behind me. And that, that shocked me because I knew he was close. But getting across there, having a couple-minute gap, and I, I loved that climb from last year. I knew I was going to give it everything I had this mm. year as well. And um, pushed it hard up there. And it was nice having a few minutes. It just gives you... You know, just a second where if you're feeling a little, a little slow, you can like take a moment to regroup. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so you're coming up. You know, you're in the lead. You can't see Ryan with 20 miles to go. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Are you still racing Ryan? Are you running your own race? Or when do you think about? Did you think about the record at all? Did you even? I didn't think about the record. I wasn't looking at my watch. I like I knew I was putting down fast miles, but um, I just didn't even want to think about the time. Like it was just I need to get the finish and I need to take care of myself right in that that moment. So that's that was my my thinking until. Hal told me, you know, you can you can do this at, at Highway 49 is when I realized, oh, okay. Well, I, I was like, well, I, I don't care that much, but uh, might as well give it all I have. Is it, you know, it hurt just as much uh, running slow as it did as hard as I could. So I just kind of let it let it all go. Yeah. So uh, before the race on Friday, you were mentioning the sort of the the charm or the allure of 100 miles, and you had a little downtime early. Did you have any bad patches later in the race that you? Got to come um, out of. I, I mean, there was just. I think I, I really took care of myself really well that I didn't have any super low patches. But there was just times where I was feeling really tired. You know, kind of close to, uh, you know, something was kind of rough, and I just stepped back and let the the others take a little bit of a lead and took care of myself for a minute and just uh, focused on on my running. And I um, was probably you know I just ran smart. I, I felt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very, very positive. Just my thinking the whole time, and never really thought. You know, in a hundred mile distance, you're like, I'm never gonna do this again. That's the thought. That that's a lot. <laughs> and I didn't have that as much um, in this race. I felt like I, you know, this. It just felt, felt good. I just rode the, the highs and lows well, and and just tried to be patient. Yeah, I mean, there's one thing of placing six at Western States or winning some, you know, competitive but smaller fifty milers. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to like, be a part of history? How do you? Have you that can you can you place that or not at all? No, I, I it, it really hasn't sunk in. I still can't believe when I look at that time. Um, yeah, that's oh, that was really fast, and I, I um, I'm looking forward to these next few days of letting it just sink in and um, yeah, just letting this moment be. And um, you know, it's just so awesome to be part of this event and have something go so well. And um, yeah, just so much fun. I had you know just a great time. I have. Uh, you know just really loving family and crew that were here to help me out and having my my wife um here to to you know smile give me a kiss along the way and um you know um, we have my our little boy uh coming so that that is just that was my driving force through uh the race was you know i want to 
um, you know, make my make my son proud, and uh, when you know, just try to be the best dad I can, and um, you know, just wanted to give him my all that day. And I, I thought of him and my my wife a lot on the running, and that's one thing that really uh, pushes me. Awesome. Well, one last question before I let you. Uh... Yeah. Enjoy the moment. You wore new shoes yesterday. I did. For a, yeah. a forthcoming. Yeah, a, sh a shoe um, from um, from Pearl Zumi. Um, the 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 line is called um, Project E Motion, uh, Efficient Motion, and uh, the Trail N One is what I I ran in, and just the nice minimal shoe, um, minimal drop on it that just really lets your foot. Um, you know, just naturally ride through. You don't have any of that slapping. You just get nice four foot plants and um, propels you forward. And I just feel like it's a really light, efficient, and you know, explosive shoe that, yeah, um, um, yeah felt great yesterday. You know, I like to have that nice proprioception where I can still feel what's going on under underneath, but you know, just enough protection that you can still bomb down a hill. And in 100 miles, I I want a little bit more under that yeah. shoe, but <clears throat> you know it. It did well. My feet have uh, recovered well, and uh, <clears throat> it's nice when the feet work and you can walk around the next day. You don't so. have to think about your shoes. So. Yeah, so I'm excited for uh, more things to come with Pro Zoom means mm -hmm. the rest of the line. What's the name of this model and about oh. approximate weight and drop? Is yeah, that people will ask? yeah uh, it's called the Trail N1, which means uh, neutral, and then one is their, um, you know, their most minimal um, foam that they're using for that, um, or midsole for that, um, that trail shoe. And um, it's actually got a one millimeter offset, but as you as the push off the um, it goes to four four and a half millimeters. About what a little over nine ounces, okay. I think. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah. congratulations again, and thank, uh, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. Enjoy the moment. We'll do.